Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning and welcome for a celebration as we celebrate the Thursday within the octave of Easter. Today's Mass is offered up for Robert Noel and Salvador and Lisa Morales. And I shall also to pray for one of our parishioners whom I went to see the other day who just passed away this morning. That is Howard Edwards. And I should ask to pray for another parishioner I went to see last night, Nicholas Milano. And we have to keep the, these people in our prayers. And as we come to celebrate today's Mass, we are reminded in today's readings that Peter says that if we repent and believe in Jesus Christ, we'll have eternal life. And Jesus gives the appearance of his cross and gives them the gift. Peace be with you. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You promised pardon and peace to the sinner of Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with God our Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, 
he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect help in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that this Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord, your God, raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke, from Samuel and those afterwards, also announced these days, You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name. O Lord our God, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? Lord our God, how wonderful is your name over all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with the glory and honor you have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O oh Lord our God, how oh wonderful Lord, your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. 
in Jesus' name, is risen from the dead. And so today we take hope from the resurrection stories that Jesus is present to us in more ways than we can. He's here to give us new life, to reflect us and forgive us of our sins. And in the Eucharist, he gives us the gift to feel his presence. Last night, I got a sick call. A man was on his deathbed. He told his daughter he wanted a priest. So when I came to him, he was delighted because he wanted to receive Jesus before his final journey. Because he recognized Jesus in the bread of life. And he went safely and peacefully to God. Because I asked him, was he in peace? And he was in peace. And just before I came today, Howard Edwards passed away. And I was with him on Monday. And he was at peace. And he was in great hope, ready to go to God. Because he too had recognized the presence of Jesus in the breaking of the bread. What in faith united in baptism, we offer our needs and the needs of the world to God our God. We pray for the Holy Catholic Church throughout the world. May God guide and encourage all believers in their faith and reliance on Jesus, especially in this time of the pandemic, when it's hard to go to church and pray. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the leaders of all nations. May God grant them wisdom and strength in building peaceful communities and give them the courage to make right decisions in this pandemic. We pray to your Lord. Lord we pray for all who are grieving the loss of a loved one during the season of season. May God provide comfort in the hope of the resurrection. And we pray for the family of Sylvia Gillespie, Gillespie, who passed away on Saturday. And we pray for the families of Robert Noel and Salvador and Nissan Morales. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of you who are listening and praying with me today. Those who are sick in body and spirit, may God give you courage as you face difficulties in isolation and in recovery. And last and pray especially for Nicholas Malama, who's on his final journey, we pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray for all the faith in the park, grant them eternal rest and peace. And I should pray for all the priests in Ireland who passed away this weekend that I've known. And I pray for especially one for my own ordination here, Brendan Smith, that they will have eternal peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord and now we pause. We pray for the prayers that lie in our hearts and in the hearts of all who are watching me as we pray for each other. Loving God, we thank you for hearing our prayers. Accept our prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
the tree of goodness we receive the wine we offer you. The fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, and become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray with me that our sacrifice may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and the praise of the Lord who is made for our good and good of all His holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully for those who are being reborn and in the hope of your increased health in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, their duty and our salvation, at all times to proclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our debt. By rising, he restored our life. Therefore, we come with pastoral joy. Every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Dermot, our Gregory, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember all your servants. We pray especially for all the sick in St. Anne's Parish. We remember especially Nicholas. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise. Are they offered it for themselves and for all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in the hope of health and well being, paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh. And a communion whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, our blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, with Peter, James, John, and Andrew, and all the saints. We ask that through their prayers and merits, in all things we may be defended by your protection. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service and that of our whole family, which we make to you. And also for those who are pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins, 
Order our days in your peace and command that we deliver from eternal damnation and count it among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And on the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and reverent hands. Our eyes raised to heaven to his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving thanks, he said a blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. From the gifts that you've given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. <clears throat> Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as much you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice and a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar cry. And in the sign of the divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, especially Noel and Howard, who have gone to their rest with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O oh God, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants and of sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graces to grant some share of fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs. 
with John the Baptist, Dean, Matthias, Barnabas, Agatha, Lucy, Cecilia, and Anna, our patron and all your saints. And bid as we beseech you with our company, not weigh in our merits, but grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. For true, for whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. For through him, with him and in him, O God Almighty Father and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
have spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you're already there. I unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, Lord, our prayers that this holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we ask the protection of St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Don't forget, I just recorded, sit down with Father John again, it should be on the website, it gives you information about Divine Mercy Sunday and other things happening in the parish. Don't forget to listen, to sit down with Father John. The Mass has ended, we now go in God's peace, to love and serve the Lord, praise him in the Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Amen. God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.